I was once told a rolling stone gathers no moss. Have you ever heard the old saying, a rolling stone gathers no moss? It's like, yeah, but it still gets dirty. Does that mean something to you? Uh. And it tends to grind off all its nice edges too, making it into a smaller stone than it otherwise could be. It's the same as don't wash your dirty underwear in public. The rolling stone, if not careful, may even roll into a boulder and break. Faster! Oh. Oh. Or worse, it could roll right into a person, injuring them for life. For me, it's game, set, and match. I think you mean check and mate. Check. And how would the Rolling Stone feel then? Got crushed by a giant horse, Lou. You wanna cut me a break? Honestly, the Rolling Stone would probably be sued at that point. I was waiting on a line, and I saw it in Quirer magazine while I was waiting on a line, and I saw Johnny Carson on the front page. It was a picture of him like this. The lawsuit only leaving a rolling pebble. Then I said, what's up with Johnny? I turned to the inside story and his wife was on the other page and she was like this. Plus, a nice green moss coat can be quite fashionable for a stone. And overhead it said, Johnny's wife wants half Johnny's money. I turned to Johnny. Then I start thinking about it. Half. The moss coat accentuating the stone's beautiful emerald extremities. It brings out your eyes. You know what you need? You need eyebrows. Pigs don't have eyebrows. Well, this pig is going to. And it can really lessen the bite of the cold night wind, which is far more important in the end. I'm a rolling stone all alone and alone.